we doing? Who's got zoomies? Or should I say, hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. I'm so glad you're here. Last year, as I'm sure you're aware, was the summer of Barbenheimer. And I only saw one of those two movies. You only get one guess as to which one that was. The only thing is, the writers and actors strikes started and then in solidarity, many creators, including myself, were not sharing content related to pop culture like TV, movies, etc. So I thought it would be fun a year later on the anniversary of the film's release to do a little bit of Barbie content. When I was little, I was a Barbie girl. I loved playing with my Barbies. Slight trigger warning, I'm gonna talk a little teeny tiny bit about body image issues. I'm not gonna go too far into it, but if you're not in a place where you can hear this kind of thing, uh, go to this timestamp. Even though I was a Barbie girl, I was not living in a Barbie world. And many, many times growing up, from childhood to high school, I was body shamed in many different ways. And the one thing about having Barbie dolls when I was growing up is there wasn't any body diversity. The only different type of body I ever had in my Barbies was pregnant Midge, which that's another story in and of itself. There wasn't a lot of diversity in Barbie dolls, period, let alone any diversity in the body shape. So then I started noticing that there's a new collection of different Barbie dolls that all look so different from each other. They have Barbie dolls of all different skin colors, all different hair colors, textures, heights, weights. They have Barbie dolls with mobility aids. It's lovely to see because I don't remember us having any of that kind of thing when I was younger. And I know that I would have loved this new collection of Barbie dolls as a kid. So after we saw the Barbie movie, laughed, cried, everything in between, I thought about buying myself a curvy Barbie doll because now I know they exist and little me would have loved to have one of those and she couldn't. But I held off on buying myself one and I'm glad I waited. As I was thrifting, I came across this. You can't really tell right away because of this um, lovely dress she's wearing, but she is a curvy Barbie doll, or as it says on the tag, full figure Barbie. So I picked her up for $2 and she's been sitting in a box since last summer because I've been waiting for the anniversary of the film's release to make this Barbie look like me. I think a lot of the time we try to make ourselves look like the dolls. So I thought it might be fun to do a doll makeover and try and make her look more like me. Even though I'd love to have hair like this, I am sadly too chicken to bleach and dye my hair. Have I ever done a doll makeover before? No. My camera ran out of battery. I don't remember where I left off. The goal is to make her look a little bit more like me. This will involve rerouting her hair, which I've never done before, building out her body a little bit more, which I've never done before, maybe a little repaint on the face, which I've also never done before, and sewing her an outfit that matches one of mine. I haven't decided yet which outfit I want to recreate for her. I was thinking maybe the strawberry sleeve dress, or maybe the yellow dress from my rainbow challenge, or maybe even this one, but that's going to be the last thing we do with this. So we are in completely new territory, and even though I've never done any of this before, I have watched watched enough videos on the internet that I now feel I have the audacity to just try it myself. We're gonna start by cutting all of her hair off because I don't want it in the way of me sculpting onto her body. And I'm going to use epoxy sculpt, even though the last time I tried to use epoxy sculpt, it did not go very well. We're gonna try it again because I think that's going to have the most lasting effect. We're just gonna do whatever seems like the right thing to do. Is it going to be the right thing? Who knows? Is this a tutorial? Absolutely not. This is me just messing around and finding out. But before we get going, I'm gonna change because I don't want any epoxy sculpt on this dress. And from experience, I know it gets everywhere somehow. Smock mode activated. <laughs> I didn't do the first part of that transition. Go, 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 go. While my camera was charging, I watched a video on how to reroute doll hair. And then I set to ordering whatever supplies I would need to complete this, which is just a rerouting tool and some doll hair. Turns out though that doll hair is kind kind of expensive and I don't have a lot of money to spend on this or in general, but I did order the re-rooting tool because I don't think I have anything like that in my toolbox from all my different hobbies. It's kind of a two-pronged little
little needle that the hair sits between and you push it through the doll's head and it leaves a little loop or knot on the inside, which you then glue down. I guess a popular glue to use or a good glue to use is called Fabri-Tac. I don't have any of that and because, again, trying not to spend too much money on this, I'm just going to use tacky glue and hope for the best because I have that on hand. And as far as doll hair is concerned, I'm gonna see if I can thrift a doll with brown hair. Any doll. It doesn't have to be a Barbie doll. See if I can make it work and if push comes to shove, I will go to the craft store and purchase some doll hair. But for now, let's chop off her hair and give her a bit of a wash because she um, has seen some things. She looks so cool with a pink buzz cut. I, it's a shame to take it all off, <sighs> but that is not what we're doing here. Okay, weird angle because I had to set this up with basically my pinkies. Most of the clay building I wanted to do on the body is done. So I'm gonna let that dry and cure for 24 hours. I do need to wash my hands before this becomes any more difficult to remove than it already is. And when I wash my, oh, okay. And then when I'm washing my hands, I'm, please. And then when I'm washing my hands, I'm also going to wash her up. I tried to build out her nose just a little bit, but it didn't work. So I need to clean off the epoxy clay that's still left after I scraped off all of the rest of it. And that's gonna be all I can do tonight because the body has to cure for 24 hours and I don't have any doll hair, nor do I have the rerouting tool and won't for a couple days. This is probably going to be... There's still some hair in there. Oh, there's a lot of hair in there. So this probably is going to take me all week to complete. I'm gonna wash up and get this stuff off of my fingers. I will see you in a couple days. This is a very strange project. This chair is so loud. <laughs> I gotta get a new chair. Hey yo! You have impeccable timing. It is always when I'm about to introduce the day that you come over to say hello. Hello. It's uh, the, the day after the next day from when you last saw me. There's gotta be a better way to say that. There is so much left to be done. Our Barbie doll is looking just so scary. <laughs> The epoxy sculpt worked. I don't know, I added just a few more body rolls to make it more realistic. And the epoxy sculpt worked and it wasn't as hard to work with as the last time I tried to use it. And as far as the hair is concerned, I went to the thrift shop yesterday to see if I could find any dolls with hair like mine that was long enough for me to cut it off and reroute it back onto this doll. My search was pretty unsuccessful. The closest thing I found was a Rapunzel doll, but that hair is still blonde. And I don't know a whole lot about dyeing doll hair. Of course, it doesn't really mean anything because I don't know anything else about this process. Because I was second guessing myself, I did go to the craft store and I got some doll hair. The only thing is, the only doll hair they had that was straight like mine was blonde. <laughs> like the Rapunzel doll. And the only brown hair they had was beautiful curly hair and I don't have that. So when we get to the hair, we might be doing some experimenting. I wanted to try and keep this 100% thrifted and use the Rapunzel doll. But since I found blonde doll hair at the craft store, instead of ruining that Rapunzel doll, I might just give it to my little sister and we'll try and dye the uh, doll hair my color. If that doesn't work, I might try to straighten the curly hair? I don't know. So we're going to hope that dyeing the doll hair with acrylic paint, which I read online as a possibility, is gonna work. All of that being said, we're not doing that first. Because she is now two colors and I am but one, except for when I have a bad sunburn, I need to paint the doll so that it has one skin tone like me, because that's the goal, which honestly the epoxy sculpt is a closer shade than the one she came with. Not so pale. Before we concern ourselves, with the hair. We are going to try and paint the body and see how that goes on the face as well. And I'm only slightly concerned, but hey, we'll never figure it out if we don't just give it a try. So let's give it a try. <laughs>
All right, the first coat is on the body and on the head. It's a little bit streaky, which I expected because it's pretty smooth plastic. And I was going to roughen the surface a little bit, but I couldn't find my sandpaper and my file just wasn't cutting it. So I just went for it. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, I am going to try and put a second coat on it. I'm not sure if it's just going to pull that first layer off when I go over it again, but we'll see. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! So we're gonna put layer number two on, and then as that dries, we're going to see if we can dye the doll hair that I got uh, from the store. Okay, don't think the hair dyeing method worked. It kind of just looks super gross. So I'm gonna call that a fail. And it looks like forbidden chocolate milk, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But what did work is using my little trusty curling iron, which I burned myself on immediately, <laughs> using it to straighten the coils. It doesn't look super great. Um, It <laughs> just kind of looks like somebody's damaged hair. So it's gonna work perfectly for me. So I'm gonna straighten some hair, which I haven't done since middle school. Okay, straightening the hair is taking um, quite a while, but I'm probably going to be straightening hair for the rest of the night. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the face onto the doll. That way when it's dry, I can put a finishing coat on both the head and the body and then once I'm done straightening just so, so, so much doll hair, maybe tomorrow we'll get to rerouting it. And then once the rerouting is done, I'll start sewing an outfit, which as far as the outfit is concerned, I was going to try and make her a matching outfit to one I already have. But why would I do that when I can just make us both a new outfit? So that's what I'm gonna do. But we still have quite a ways to go before we get there. I put two coats of that Mod Podge matte clear sealant on the doll. And at this point it is pretty late and I should probably call it a night, but I'm too excited to try rerouting the hair. So I'm going to do a couple and see how it goes. We'll see how much of it I get done. I have a feeling I'm going to have to spend more time tomorrow straightening hair. We'll just see how far this gets us and go from there. Okay, this is as far as I got with all of the hair I prepared. There is just so much more to do, but we're not going to do it tonight because it is so much later than it was before and I just couldn't stop. It's kind of fun. Despite the first needle getting stuck in the head multiple times and then breaking, I'm not going to film the whole process of me straightening more hair because it's going to take a while. That's probably going to take a couple hours. So I will see you tomorrow with some more hair prepared and we'll continue to put it on our little nightmare head. I'll see you then. Hello. Impeccable timing as usual. It's the next day. I don't know how much of it you can see, but my workspace looks wild. <laughs> The doll head is taped to the tape dispenser and the body is just laying on the table and there's just hair everywhere. Because when I was straightening hair before, I had to stop because it got a little tangled. 
I didn't even plan that. I decided last night to make my life easier today, and I separated out all of the hairs into individual strands to make the straightening process easier. So that's the plan. We're gonna straighten some more hair and put it on her head, and hopefully we'll have enough. I did have a little women moment yesterday when I was straightening the hair. The slightest hesitation occurred. It burned through the strand, and all I could think of was that scene in Little Women, which my lamp looks like she is a background cast member of. That's the plan for today. I I'm gonna get to work. And Pearl is gonna go lay down in her bed. I just finished rerouting all of the hair that I have. I did not have enough for all of the pre-existing holes in her head. So it's a bit sparse in the back and on the side, all over, really. But I'm holding out hope that with some styling, you won't be able to tell. And I'm hoping with some styling, she'll look less like Cousin It from the Addams Family, because we're looking rough right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna try and style the doll's hair now and also give her a bit of a haircut because it is all sorts of different lengths right now. Actually, I'm not going to do any styling yet because I forgot I have to glue it from the inside. So I am going to give this a good coating of glue on the inside of the head so that when I'm styling it, it doesn't just pull everything out. And because I had to let the glue set before I could do anything with the hair, I decided to get to work on the dress. It is so, 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 so late and I am covered in hot glue, but everything is officially done to the best of my ability. So it's time for the reveal. a lot better than I expected it to. Is she perfect? Not by a long shot. But you know, I think that's something that makes her a lot like me. This is the first time I've sculpted onto a doll and repainted it and rerouted the hair, and it was a massive learning experience. I wish I had remembered to get sandpaper, because it would have made a huge difference on the texture of where I sculpted, and also to help the paint cling to the skin a little bit more. On the places where I didn't sculpt, um, the paint scratches off very easily. And while that spray-on sealant worked pretty well. On the body itself, it's not sticky, but for some reason it is quite sticky on the face. So I had to be very careful when rerouting the hair and styling it not to accidentally push into the face too hard and pull the paint off. I also forgot to take into account that her arms move, so the paint is coming off at the joints. Also, if you look very, very closely, her head is hot glued on because I got it on most of the way, but the hair on the inside of the head was so thick that the top of the like joint thing that keeps her head on couldn't go up far enough. It was so close and I got it mostly on. Her head was just flopping around like crazy. So I put a tiny, tiny daub of hot glue right there in the front just to keep it in place. The hair is still very hard to style. I had a lot of trouble doing that and that's why I basically didn't do anything with it. Oh no, her shoe came off. Oh shoot, these tiny little fuzzy slippers I made didn't really work out that well anyway. <laughs> Sewing her tiny, tiny dress was more fun than I thought it would be. Making her tiny, tiny earrings, not as much. Um, they were so small, they broke several times. And so eventually I just covered them in hot glue and called it good. But overall, I think she looks pretty good. I think it was a pretty solid first attempt at redecorating a doll. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And if you like it too, you can let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see what I'm doing next and join the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post, hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!